The ancient Egyptians are known for their grand pyramids, fascinating hieroglyphs, and the mythical curse of the pharaohs. This curse, believed by many to be the deadly fate awaiting those who disturb the eternal rest of Egyptian royalty, has been a source of both horror and fascination for centuries. The tales of cursed expeditions and the tragic ends met by many who dared to unveil the secrets of the pharaohs have only fueled the enigma surrounding this ancient curse. This article endeavors to unravel the mysteries shrouding the pharaoh's curse, delving into both scientific and supernatural explanations to decipher whether it's rooted in fact or fiction. The curse of the pharaohs is an enigmatic concept that has its roots deeply embedded in the rich and ancient Egyptian civilization. This alleged curse is believed to befall those who dare to disturb the tombs of the pharaohs. Its lore is a mix of ancient Egyptian mysticism, cultural reverence towards the pharaohs, and the eerie experiences of some of the explorers who ventured into the unknown realms of these ancient tombs. The most famous tale associated with the curse is undeniably that of King Tutankhamun's tomb, discovered by British archaeologist Howard Carter in 1922. This archaeological find was monumental, bringing to light a treasure trove of Egyptian artifacts and the mummy of the young pharaoh himself. However, the joy of this discovery soon gave way to whispers of a curse when several individuals connected to the expedition began to suffer from mysterious ailments or met untimely deaths. The media was quick to link these misfortunes to the pharaoh's curse, thereby amplifying the legend. In the lore, the curse is often described as a protective measure employed by the ancient mystics to safeguard the sanctity of the royal tombs. It's believed that these mystics inscribed curses on the tomb's entrances or on the coffins, warning of dire consequences for those who dare to disturb the pharaoh's eternal rest. These inscriptions were not merely threats, but were believed to be actual spells capable of invoking the wrath of the gods or the spirits of the pharaohs themselves. Over centuries, tales of these curses have become a crucial part of Egyptian mythology, passed down through generations, and have been further embellished by popular culture. The depiction of the curse in films, novels, and documentaries has often highlighted the eerie, almost supernatural experiences reported by some tomb raiders and archaeologists, further cementing the curse in modern-day lore. Moreover, the curse's allure is not just confined to the tales of King Tutankhamun. Various other pharaoh's tombs have their own share of cursed tales, each adding a layer of mystique to the enigmatic ancient Egyptian civilization. These tales often involve airy coincidences, unexplained illnesses, and sometimes, deaths, that have befallen those who dared to unveil the secrets lying within the tombs. The detailed accounts of these incidents, whether factual or exaggerated, continue to fuel the enigmatic narrative surrounding the curse of the pharaohs, making it a tantalizing topic for both historical and supernatural exploration. The pharaoh's curse, while ancient in its origin, has instances that span across various periods, each time rekindling the enigmatic allure surrounding the curse. However, the 20th century, marked by the advent of modern archaeology, brought about some of the most tantalizing tales associated with the curse. The opening of King Tutankhamun's tomb in 1922, in particular, became the cornerstone for modern-day lore surrounding the pharaoh's curse. Following the unsealing of King Tutankhamun's tomb by Howard Carter, a series of unfortunate events unfolded. The financial backer of the expedition, Lord Carnarvon, met with an untimely demise under mysterious circumstances shortly after the tomb was opened. His death was swiftly followed by rumors and media frenzy, linking it to the ancient curse. The fact that he died due to an infected mosquito bite on his cheek, precisely where King Tutankhamun's mummy had a lesion, only added fuel to the speculative fire of the curse. The enigmatic narrative of the curse further deepened with the passing of other individuals connected to the expedition. For instance, Sir Archibald Douglas Reed, the radiologist who X-rayed the mummy, died of a mysterious illness. Similarly, George J. Gould I, a visitor to the tomb, died due to a fever he developed after his visit. These and several other coincidental deaths and misfortunes were seen by many as the curse manifesting its wrath on those who disturbed the pharaoh's rest. Another historical instance that often finds mention in the tales of the pharaoh's curse is that of the opening of Pharaoh Amenhotep II's tomb. While not as famous as King Tutankhamun's case, this too had its share of eerie tales of misfortune befalling the excavators and visitors. Howard Carter, the man who unveiled King Tutankhamun's tomb to the modern world, himself remained unscathed by the curse, living to a relatively old age. However, the misfortunes that befell his colleagues and associates contributed to the enduring narrative of the curse. Furthermore, there are tales from earlier periods too, 
where the adventurers and grave robbers of old, who dared to enter the sacred resting places of the pharaohs, reportedly met with unexplainable miseries and death. Each tale, whether verifiable or not, added a layer to the growing legend of the pharaoh's curse. Historical instances of the curse, embellished over time by folklore, media, and popular culture, have managed to ingrain the pharaoh's curse as a tantalizing yet eerie part of Egypt's rich historical narrative. Through these tales, the curse continues to be a topic of fascination, fear, and scholarly intrigue, drawing many into the enigmatic world of ancient Egyptian mysticism and lore. The tales surrounding the pharaoh's curse have often been met with skepticism by the scientific community, which has sought to find rational explanations for the mysterious happenings associated with ancient Egyptian tombs. Over the years, various scientific theories have emerged, attempting to demystify the curse. One of the most prominent theories revolves around the presence of toxic molds and bacteria in the tombs. Sealed for centuries, the tombs provide a conducive environment for the growth of molds such as Aspergillus niger and other harmful pathogens. When disturbed, these organisms can become airborne and pose significant health risks to individuals who come into contact with them without proper protective gear. The symptoms caused by exposure to these pathogens can range from minor allergic reactions to severe respiratory issues or even lethal systemic infections, especially in individuals with compromised immune systems. Furthermore, the chemicals used in the mummification process and the preservation of the tombs could also pose serious health risks. Ancient Egyptians used a plethora of substances, including mercury, arsenic, and lead, to preserve bodies and deter tomb raiders. These substances are highly toxic and can cause a myriad of health problems if inhaled or ingested. For instance, mercury exposure can lead to neurological damage, while arsenic and lead poisoning can result in severe systemic ailments or death. Another scientific theory touches on the psychological aspect of the curse. The fear and anxiety generated by the curse's lore could potentially lead to stress-induced health problems among those involved in tomb explorations or those who believe in the curse. This psychological stress might manifest in various forms of illnesses or exacerbate existing conditions, thereby giving a semblance of truth to the curse. Radiological examinations of mummies and tombs also expose individuals to radiation, which could have long-term health implications. Although modern-day archaeological expeditions employ stringent safety measures, earlier explorers were often exposed to hazardous conditions without adequate protection, contributing to the tales of the curse. The scientific explanations attempt to demystify the eerie occurrences surrounding the pharaoh's curse, providing a rational lens through which to explore this ancient enigma. By analyzing the environmental, chemical, and psychological factors associated with the tombs and their explorations, the scientific community strives to separate fact from fiction, grounding the mysterious tales of the pharaoh's curse in the realm of scientific understanding. While science attempts to demystify the eerie occurrences surrounding the pharaoh's curse, the realm of the supernatural offers a contrasting perspective. This perspective roots itself in ancient Egyptian beliefs, mysticism, and the enduring human fascination with the unknown. Ancient Egyptians held a profound belief in the afterlife and the spiritual realm. They perceived the tombs as the eternal dwelling places of the pharaoh's spirits. The elaborate burial rituals, mummification processes, and inscriptions were meant to honor the deceased and ensure their safe passage into the afterlife. It was believed that disturbing these sacred tombs would incur the wrath of the spirits residing therein. This belief forms the backbone of the supernatural explanation for the pharaoh's curse. Over the centuries, tales of apparitions, ghostly whispers, and eerie phenomena have become synonymous with the tombs of the pharaohs. These tales often draw from personal accounts of those who ventured into the tombs and claim to have experienced unexplainable occurrences. The narrative of the supernatural is enriched by these anecdotal evidences, which, despite lacking empirical validation, continue to captivate the public imagination. The supernatural explanation also finds a fertile ground in the broader human fascination with curses and haunted places. The idea that a curse can transcend time and exact revenge upon those who dare to desecrate sacred tombs is a powerful narrative that finds resonance across cultures and ages. Moreover, the portrayal of the pharaoh's curse in popular culture, through movies, books, and documentaries, has further perpetuated the supernatural narrative. The dramatized depictions of the curse, often with a blend of historical facts and fictional elements, continue to fuel the enduring allure of the pharaoh's curse. 
Furthermore, psychics, mediums, and enthusiasts of the supernatural often visit these ancient sites, claiming to have communicated with the spirits of the pharaohs or experienced otherworldly phenomena. While these claims are often dismissed by skeptics, they add to the body of lore surrounding the pharaoh's curse. The supernatural explanations for the pharaoh's curse exemplify the human penchant for mystery and the unknown. Despite the lack of scientific backing, the supernatural narrative continues to thrive, offering an enigmatic, albeit speculative, dimension to the rich tapestry of ancient Egyptian lore. As time marches on, the legend of the pharaoh's curse continues to be reinterpreted and adapted to the modern narrative, fusing historical curiosity with contemporary discourse. Modern-day interpretations often walk a fine line between skepticism and mysticism, influenced by advancements in science, archaeology, and popular culture. In the academic arena, scholars and archaeologists continue to investigate the curse, often through a multidisciplinary lens. The application of modern scientific methods such as DNA analysis, radiography, and chemical analysis has shed light on many aspects of ancient Egyptian burial practices and the conditions within the tombs, providing rational explanations for some of the phenomena associated with the curse. Despite these advancements, the allure of the curse and its supernatural aspect continue to be topics of debate and discussion within academic circles. In popular culture, the legend of the pharaoh's curse has found a renewed resonance. Books, movies, documentaries, and television shows continue to explore and often dramatize the curse, blending historical facts with fictional elements to create captivating narratives. These portrayals often accentuate the mysterious and supernatural elements of the curse, further entrenching the legend in modern folklore. Furthermore, the digital age has brought about a new wave of interest in the pharaoh's curse. Online communities, blogs, and social media platforms have become arenas for sharing personal experiences, theories, and discussions regarding the curse. The ease of access to information and the ability to share and engage with a global audience has brought diverse perspectives to the fore, enriching the modern narrative surrounding the pharaoh's curse. The tourism industry in Egypt also plays a part in perpetuating the modern narrative of the curse. The allure of ancient tombs, the mystique of the pharaohs, and the tales of the curse attract throngs of tourists to Egypt. Guided tours often include narratives of the curse, blending historical facts with lore to create an immersive experience for visitors. Modern-day interpretations of the pharaoh's curse reflect the enduring human fascination with the unknown and the mystical, against the backdrop of scientific exploration and rational inquiry. The interplay between the historical, the mystical, and the modern narratives creates a rich, multifaceted understanding of the pharaoh's curse, ensuring its place in contemporary discourse as a symbol of the eternal tension between science and the supernatural. The legend of the pharaoh's curse is a captivating blend of historical reality and mythological embellishment. While scientific explanations provide rational insights into the phenomena associated with the curse, the supernatural narrative holds an enduring appeal. The mystery surrounding the pharaoh's curse is a testimony to the human fascination with the unknown, the ancient, and the mystical. Through unraveling the layers of the pharaoh's curse, we venture into a realm where fact and fiction entwine, leading us on a thrilling expedition through the sands of time.